Hi, my name is Song. I'm the creator of Tower Defense Toolkit. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Tower Defense Toolkit as well as how to get started. Now, the first thing uh, when using Tower Defense Toolkit is to take note of this panel over here. And uh, it gives you a bunch of shortcuts to do things you normally need to. Um, for instance, uh, the first two, two item is to create a new scene from scratch. Uh, it's basically a shortcut to it will do all the basic setup for you. And then you have the optional component such as UI, Perk Manager, Camera. And then you have the editors to edit, basically edit your tower, edit your scene, your resource. And then finally you have the support forum which will take you to the a link which is a link to the support uh, unity support forum where you can post all your issues now um, let's just quickly start a new scene so I'm gonna show you what are the major components in a tower defense game so what you basically have is you need to build a tower so there you have build manager which govern all the towers you can enable or disable them. Um, I have all this tower over here because I have um, added all the prefabs before this. So I'll show you later how to do that. But for now, just I just want to show you that this is the build manager responsible for building the towers. Then of course you have the creeps, which spawn by spawn manager, right? And then you have the path, which the creeps will walk. Alright, I should have shown you this. So this is the path you see the blue line over there. Then you have the build platform, which is where the tower is allowed to be built on. Right? You can have as many of this in the same. So can duplicate them, no problem. But let's just keep things simple for now. And finally, to put all that together, you have a game control, which is govern all the basic game logic such as resource, life and all this other miscellaneous stuff and if you run this simple scene straight away you can see the path it's being highlighted here and here is the platform which is automated uh, automatically formatted for you very nice so if you notice that the grid has been reset to fit the grid size you specified for your prefabs so but Right now, you can't actually do anything because you haven't actually have any UI on it. And you should know that Tower Defense do support custom UI, means you can write your own UI solution, but it does come with two default one. So we'll just just for the sake of showcase, uh, I'll just sim at one. So this is the default UI. We're not using Perp yet. Um, yeah, this is the basic thing. So you can set. The build mode you want to point and build or drag and drop um, show build sample before you actually build them the fast forward speed do you want to preview the next wave information blah 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 right you can go to the documentation for that i've explained them rather well i think right so now we play them again instantly you see all the manual in place now you can build some towers but unfortunately i have disabled all of them so i'm gonna go in right let's okay start again right now we can build two towers because we have enabled these two over here so if you press spawn right now you notice what happens is you get a stream of errors that is because we haven't actually assigned anything for the spawn manager so if you if you are eagle eye you will have noticed next wave there it's empty so we're gonna do that we're gonna give it something to spawn i'll go i'll go through this in details later but for now let's just go through it quickly i'll give it a prefab and tell it to spawn five of them at one second of uh at an interval of one second so you'll see them spawn one two three four five and now we're attacking them All right so there you go a very simple level and I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff about uh, the path system of tower defense toolkit is that it is very flexible 
and this bring us to this amazing scene so basically the difference between these and the earlier level is that the path here is basically work this way you add platforms uh, you add waypoints sorry waypoints to it so basically you can just insert anything so let's just duplicate point 1.5 right and I'm gonna add 1.5 here so let's move 1.5 to somewhere and immediately you see the creep is going to move from this point to this point and to this platform and another cool thing is whenever you add the platform to a path it will sort of become a maze area for the creeps to move through so which means you can build tower to actually block the path so I'm gonna sh quickly add path indicator to it just to show you how it works I should have done this in this but I sort of forgot it so I'll, I'll fix that in the next update but now it should work so this is just to show this small error here so we can see the path so it will move through the platform right so we can try to block it by building something in the way Okay. Let's see. Let's build something. See, it will go through it. Yeah. So this and platform works works just like any other waypoint. Means you can have as many platform as you want, and it will still work. So if I say let's add no, let's add another waypoint between here. So if I add this build platform, let's name this build platform two. Right. Let's see how how it changed. So it will go through this waypoint, the first waypoint, and to the build platform two and to waypoint 1.5 to build platform before it goes to the final waypoint and you can drag it and place it anywhere in the scene and it will just works isn't that cool so as you can see in the example scene I can do all sort of setup I can have two path I can have some complicated level such as this one or this one yeah so hope you like what you see so I'm gonna end this video right here and I'm gonna show you more of the stuff late in the next video thanks for watching